This is KWWL News, live at 10. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ron Steele and has the night off. Well, at this hour, thousands of people are packed into Dyersville's famous Field of Dreams. You know, it's been 17 years since the production of that blockbuster movie ended, but the Dubuque County movie site appears now more popular than ever before, as evidenced by what's happening there tonight. News Channel 7's Jason Mortreet live for us in Dyersville at this hour. And Jason, certainly a visit from the star of the film, Kevin Costner, ensured a big crowd tonight. Tell us more. Yeah, that's for sure. Organizers were expecting as many as 8,000 people. As the line goes, if you build it, they will come, and they certainly have tonight. This, uh, this site really has been great for Dubuque County tourism. Now, folks are there watching Field of Dreams out in the outfield, but the big draw tonight was the movie star. The excitement? Obvious. Eastern Iowans don't rub elbows with movie stars very often. In fact, this is the first time Field of Dreams star Kevin Costner's visited this site since film production ended 17 years ago. I feel like I'll forever be connected here in the state of Iowa and what we were able to, a little movie that no one absolutely believed in. People came from across the state, across the country. Some even traveled from overseas to see Costner at the popular movie location. The Rockenbach family drove six hours from Lincoln, Nebraska. They got to meet Kevin Costner on stage. It will be nine years since we got engaged here at the Field of Dreams. So I got my diamond at the baseball diamond. It's kind of a magical place, and it's it's one of the few places you, where you go where it's still exactly the way it was when the movie was made, and that's that's an exciting thing. Many were impressed and surprised to find out Kevin Costner can sing. His band gave a free performance. Organizers are thrilled the event is putting Dyersville in the national spotlight. It's a huge economic uh, impact, as you can imagine. Look at the people, the restaurants, hotels, gas stations. Still others are simply interested in the game and spending some quality time with the family. It's incredible. It's really cool. Obviously a lot of fun here tonight. Now this event is part of a rolling road show where 10 classic movies were shown at the sites where they were filmed. Jason Moore tweet, I was News Channel 7 live in Dyersville. And Jason, I won't ask you to name all 10, but I know they showed Jaws earlier. They're going to show movies like The Poseidon Adventure and The Shining, Raising Arizona, Escape from Alcatraz, some real classics a part of this Netflix tour around the country. Great so, events, drawing a lot of people too. And boy, you had a great assignment tonight, Jason. I am definitely jealous because that is a <laughs> wonderful, wonderful place. Jason Moore tweet, live tonight at the Field of Dreams. Dyersville Field of Dreams, by the way, has attracted already almost a million people. 800 thousand tourists have been the Field of Dreams since the filming of the movie back in 1989.